guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul of the Valentine's Day collection that Lush just released and I'm really excited about it. I have the entire collection to share with you guys today. There's a little bit of everything, so let's just jump in to the fun, to the love fun. I'm gonna start off with bath bombs and the one I'm most excited to try and is new this year is the love boat. Look at it, it's so cute. They've been kind of doing these kind of vehicles situation like they have the rocket, they have the yellow submarine and they have now a boat because they figured out some sort of technology to make it like puts around your tub and it looks like it's just driving. It's really cute and I love that it's blue and it's pink. Smells citrusy to me. It smells like something from the Easter release. Let me look up what it is. It's a lemon orange scent, so it's very citrusy, but a little bit floral to me as well. It smells really, really good. And on the bottom, you can kind of see that there's little, like, confetti hearts that are going to come out. Ooh, maybe those are Pop Rock hearts. I guess we'll find out, but this is just really cute. It smells really bright and fresh, and I am very much looking forward to using this. And the little pink tip is a heart. It's so cute. And then the next two bath bombs are re-releases. This is Titsy Totsy, which mine got kind of chipped in shipping, but that's all right. This used to be a permanent bath bomb in their permanent line. It wasn't pink, it was just a white color, but it had these roses in it, and it's the same scent and everything. They just made the bomb part pink. It smells really good. It smells really relaxing. Like, this is one of, like, the throwback first bath bombs I ever tried from Lush. So this one smells like jasmine and rose, and as you can see, there are little rose buds in it that will come floating out. So you will have to pick those up after your bath, but um, it's it's a nice relaxing bath situation, a very romantic for you and your partner on Valentine's Day. But I just, I love Tootsie Tootsie. I was upset when they got rid of it, but it's nice that they bring it back just for Valentine's Day. And then one of my favorite things, and I should have gotten more, but this is the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. I love this. They also released this in the giant size. I think I talked to you guys about the giant Golden Wonder they released for Christmas. Christmas. Well, they made a giant version of this. I actually Instagrammed myself holding it the other day and it's huge. It's like the size of my head. It's 20 bucks and they say it's made for any size tub, but I just have the smallest tub and I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. So I just went with the normal size, but it smells so freaking good. I love the detailing on it. It's mostly pink with like 3D roses, but there's some mint green uh, stems or leaves on there and it's just really pretty <sighs> smells so florally like definitely rose and there's a little bit of lemon in there as well and spoiler alert but when this opens there's yellow rose petals inside of it so it's just really nice and relaxing and romantic and i just i love this bath bomb and i should have bought more Oh, if you shake it, you can hear the petals inside. Wow, crazy. So that is it for the bombs. There are three bath bombs and three bubble bars, so let's move on to those. There is a re-release. This is the unicorn horn. It's so cute, see? Probably just got glitter on my forehead. But this is the unicorn horn. They've kind of adjusted the colors of it every year they've re-released it. I believe this is the third year it's been around. If you watch my Lush videos, then you already know this, but if you're new to them, bubble bars are basically bubble bath. You break off a chunk, you kind of crumble it with your fingers under the faucet, and it kind of runs down to make these amazing stiff bubbles that smell good, that, they're, that are colorful, and they're just my favorite product from Lush. This one has a very light yet relaxing scent. This to me smells like the um, Dreamtime bath melt, which they discontinued but then brought back in a different form, which actually I bought two of the bath melts the other day when I went to the store. I can show you guys those at the end because I haven't talked to you about the new bath melts. They came out with so many bath melts. But anyway, that's a tangent. Nothing to do with this. <laughs> so this has lavender, ylang ylang, and neroli, and it just smells really light yet relaxing, and it's gonna make fun, mostly pink, but kind of pastel pink lavender bubbles in your tub, and there's a little bit of shimmer on the outside. It's just really pretty and cute and great. Oh, it smells so good, and you can be a unicorn. Next is super cute. I don't even know what this is called. This is the Whole Lot of Love Bubble Rune, which if you don't know what a bubble rune is, it's kind of a bubble bar and a bath melt in one. So what they want you to do with this is kind of twist it open and open it kind of like an Oreo cookie or like a macaroon. <laughs> and so the stuff you see on the inside is supposed to be like a bath melt. It's really creamy and makes your water really moisturizing. And it really does. It's incredible what the bath melts do. I think they're amazing. So I really like the bubble runes because you get a lot of use out of them, but also you get bubbles but moisturization so they're fun. This one is pink and then the inside is kind of like this gold color with some shimmer on it. And I, when I smell this I was like that smells really good but it kind of smells a little bit spicy and I'm just seeing that it's apple cinnamon. Oh it smells really really good. It's kind of like the Christmas scent that you missed a little bit but a little bit more I don't know. It doesn't smell Christmassy. It just smells warm. So this has a lot of fragrances in it. It has rose, jasmine, lemongrass, bergamot, and then apple. Caramel apple scent. Cinnamon caramel. 
It smells really, really good. I really like this. My sister didn't love the way this smelled, but I really, really like it. And then last for the bubble bars, we have this orange one. This is called Heart of Enlightened Expectation. This one smells super interesting. Uh, but again, this is a bubble bar melt. It has the white stuff on top, which mine kind of got melted and disconfigured in the shipping, but it will still totally work. And I love the bright orange color and it has a bit of gold dusted shimmer on it. <laughs> but this has jasmine rose and ylang ylang. It's like all my favorite things. It's gonna be bright orange in the tub and I just, I think it's really pretty and cute. I love all this heart-shaped stuff. Okay, and now there's some like other body shower face stuff in this collection. We have another naked shower gel, which if you missed my Christmas Lush haul, which I'll link up there even though Christmas is over, but if you're interested in seeing it, I'll link it. But they came out with this new range of naked shower gels, which is basically an effort to save plastic. I don't even think they came out with this in a normal packaging. I think they just came out with it naked. I could be completely wrong. Oh, but this is a shower cream. As I'm reading it, it is kind of melting in my hands and I was like, what the hell is happening? Is this going to be a shower cream? So this is called the Tender is the Night Naked Shower Cream. So it says, feel the moisturizing slip of shea and muramuru butters. That's what's in my butter bronzer that I love. Softening your skin as your shower fills up with the creamy floral scents of jasmine, ylang ylang, and vanilla. Ooh, again, my three faves. Once you step out of the steam, your skin will, positive, will be positively glowing and you'll be ready for love. So this isn't even a shower gel, it's a shower cream. It's like one of those in-shower moisturizers. I just got way more excited. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm popping this in my shower right after this video and I'm using it tonight, oh my gosh. Speaking of that, they have another sort of in-shower situation, which I'm trying to pick up, but it's slippery. <laughs> this is the Cherry-ish body scrub, which is just like the scrubby. This is supposed to smell like chocolate cherries and it totally does, it's crazy. Oh, it's so cute. Here, get a good look, because I gotta put it down because it's melting, but you got the cherries, you got the heart, super cute. But you pretty much rub it on your wet skin in the shower and it has these exfoliating beads in it, but it's also super moisturizing. It smells incredible. And then you get out of the shower and you kind of just pat yourself dry. It's one of my new favorite products from Lush. I used to use the Buffy Bar, I believe that's what it was called, something along those lines. I used to use it all the time and then I kind of forgot about it and they re-released Scrubby and then I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how life-changing this is. Especially if you hate to put on lotion after the shower, like you need that because it's just in the shower, you're done. It's great. So I love those. I'm excited to try a new scent. And I, the woman that worked there told me that they heard a rumor that that one might be a permanent item. So she wasn't sure, but if you do fall in love with it, hopefully it'll still be around later. That's what kind of stinks about these limited edition stuff, but that's also what makes it fun. <laughs> they did release a soap with the collection. This is the Tunnel of Love soap. And as you can see, it's super cute. At first I thought this was cotton candy scented, but it's not, which I'm happy about because I don't like cotton candy scents. Call me crazy. It says it smells like rose water, orange oil, and lime oil. Oh, it smells really good. It smells a little bit like the Miranda soap, but like a little bit more vanilla-y, if that makes sense. Sometimes it smells like cotton candy, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, I'll have to play with it, but I think it's super cute and I never buy the soap, so I'm so happy that they sent this to me because it's so cute and I'm gonna put it out on a soap dish for Valentine's Day, yes. Next up, there is a massage bar. This is the Melt My Heart Massage Bar. Yep, that's what it's called. It smells... This isn't gonna be for everybody. It smells good, but it also smells very pungently natural, if that makes sense. The scents are orange flower and violet, but there's something very woodsy and earthy about it. But if you don't know what a massage bar is, it's pretty much just like massage oil lotion in bar form. So you, again, kind of like the cherry-ish thing, you get it working on your skin. They have a ton of these in their permanent line, but it's fun, they released one for Valentine's Day. In case you're gonna get sexual and massage someone. <laughs> that was awkward. But yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that scent. Probably my least favorite scent of all the Valentine's Day stuffs, but stuffs. So that is it for the Valentine's Day collection. I will show you the two bath melts that I got really fast. Oh, so these are called bath oils, not bath melts, sorry. So the first one is called polyamor, wow. Polyamorous, polyamorous. Why can't I read? This looks like it belongs in the Valentine's Day collection. It's just really small. These are really tiny, which is kind of like, whoa, those are six bucks for like a tiny one use thing. I think I'll cut this into two and get two uses out of it just because I'm cheap, but it smells so good. It says it has orange, violet, and sandalwood in it, which is kind of similar to the massage bar, but this smells so much better. Oh, and it's just so cute with like the ombre pink and white and then the pink hearts on the front. I'm obsessed. I love it. And they have so many new bath oils. I just picked up two to try out at first, but I'll definitely have to keep trying more. And then the one I was most excited to get my hands on or back on is the Dreamtime bath oil, which has, it's purple and it has a little Z on it, you know, for like Z's getting sleep. Oh, it smells incredible. I should have bought 16 of these. Should have done it. 
Oh, they're out of stock online. I'll still link it down below. Check, but definitely check inside your store because this is incredible. This is made with lavender oil and sandalwood and sweet Jesus. It's great. So check that out if you see it. Give it a sniff. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed a sneaky peek into the lush Valentine's Day stuff. It is out in stores and online now. I will link them all down below so you can check it out if you want to check out a certain item. Um, and I will keep you updated as I use things. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will usually show my bath bombs on Instagram stories. So I will have my info up there. But thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have my face right here for you to subscribe. And I will have some videos and I'll have my Lush playlist right here if you want more Lush organizing videos, how to save money at Lush, my top 10 Lush products, more hauls, all that stuff that'll be right there. So I love you guys. I hope you have a really good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.